Hey everybody, this side Aditi Gupta, data and business analytics mentor. This video is totally inclined towards Power BI interview questions, but yes, related to DAX. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a top 10 Power BI interview questions, which is related to DAX. You need to understand one thing guys, um, in the Power BI interviews, there can be two types of questions. It can be theoretical or it can be practical as well. So I have made two to three videos on a theoretical interview questions as well. You can check the link in the description. When it comes to DAX, it can be, you know, practical interview questions. But let's say you are in, um, in the front of recruiter. Okay. And they are asking the question related to DAX. You don't have any system as such. You don't have any project. You don't have any data set. Just a verbal interview or the call interview is going on or a video call is going on. Okay. So if they will ask any question related to DAX, you need to explain explain them that particular function so sometimes in the interview we need to prepare not for the practical purposes but for the fully theoretical and the logical point of view as well for an example they can ask any dex question they will ask any function of the dex like what is sum sum x minimum average so you don't need to just you know practical implementation or you don't need to tell the syntax here if they will ask any question related to DAX you need to explain that function and you need to tell the real time case scenario that at what time at what place you can use that function okay so most of the time people face this particular problem they prepare for the power bi interviews and 80 percent of the interview questions will be on DAX only and now most of the uh, you know students work practical implementations on DAX but mostly in the real time interviews you need to theoretically answer about the DAX functions as well okay so today in this video we are going to discuss about the top 10 power bi interview questions which is related to DAX okay now the first is sum so sum is a function where just a minute huh? let me change the slide in here and I will explain you with the proper, uh, you know, science in here. Now this one is the sum function. Sum, so today we are going to, you know, talk about some sort of, uh, you know, basics to intermediate level of tax functions. And I will make a part two of this video as well for sure, where I will include some sort of advanced tax functions as well. So when it comes to sum function, guys, the sum function adds up the values in a column of a table. For example, to calculate the total sales, you can use sum. Okay, and there we have a example as well. So sum is a function where if you want to calculate the sum of any column, you can use the sum function. Simple. When it comes to sum x, now the interview question can be what is the difference between sum and sum x function? This is related to DAX itself, right? So you don't need to practically tell them by just, you know, doing something on your computer or your, on a or on your system you don't need to do that you just need to explain theoretically what is a difference between sum and sum x dax function right in that case sum x suppose you want to compute sales revenue by multiplying the order quantity by the unit price instead of creating a separate column for this calculation you can use sum x to perform both steps in one go the syntax is check out the syntax so that you will be able to easily understand sum x table name and expression okay expression can be like if you want to multiply any two columns divide any two columns subtract any two columns so you this is one this will be the expression so in the sum you can do only one thing you can use only one column at a time in sum x you can use two or more columns at a time as well okay so this is a core difference between sum and sum x the third function is calculate so here you can see the calculate function is a powerful for modifying filter contest okay see here filter contest and creating complex calculations it allows you to apply filters or conditions to your measures so as you can see in power bi we have two type of columns we have measures and we have a proper columns that we create measures created on the cloud in the power bi so calculate function this is a very important thing calculate function works on measures okay so as you can see filter context and for the complex calculation it allows 
apply filters or conditions so we can use different conditions all together we can use different sort of filters in the calculate function very important interview question now we have a average this is a fourth function as the name suggest this function calculates the average of column for instance you can find the average of sales so this is a syntax of the same okay so average is a very simple function where you can find the average of not only sales but any column which is having a numerical values now minimum this is a fifth function minimum which is these function return the minimum and maximum values from a column respectively useful for finding extremes in your data okay so for an example minimum minimum will as a name suggest it will find out the minimum value in your respective column okay which the data you have uploaded in the power bi so these are the main five tax functions we can say basic tax functions as well so if you want you can take a screenshot of this particular slide okay now let's go to the next function that i have for all of you in here so let me open that as well okay so this these are the five functions and these are more you know five functions i have for each and every one of you the sixth is rank x okay so there is one more function rank figure it out what it is and then we have rank x okay there is also a difference between rank and rank x in here important interview question if you need to rank items based on a measure example ranking product by sales rank x is your go to function for an example you have 10 products and you want to find out that what are the you know products what are the top 5 products what are the let's say i want top 2 products gives us a maximum sales okay so we have a two columns in here product and sales and we need to order it as well okay like a top most product have a highest sales comes first second third and fourth in this particular case and in this scenario you can use rank x so understand one thing let's say your theoretical interview is going on you are in a video call let's say you are giving a interview for a dubai client they are taking a video interview of yours so they will simply ask a question that what is a you know rank x function means and what is the functionality of that and related to it you can just uh, say this particular scenario the seventh most important dax function which is concatenate the explanation of the concatenate dax function is concatenates text values okay so you can understand one thing most of the dax function works with the numerical values and most of the dax function works with the text values as well okay so concatenate works with the text values from a column into a single string useful for creating custom labels or descriptions so whenever you want to concatenate two things or two columns it can work with sometimes the numerical values as well depends on the data type you can experiment for the concatenate function so if you want to combine or concatenate that means add on or uh, the simple and layman uh, word can be combine okay combine two columns together in a one column then you can use concatenate then we have eighth function which is switch one of the most important dax function again related to our interview perspective so similar to case statement in sql switch allows you to define multiple conditions and corresponding results okay so switch works with multiple statements so whenever you use switch inside that you can use multiple columns multiple dax functions multiple statements okay so that's how switch works then we have all function it removes filters see it very significantly removes filter from a column or table providing a way to override existing filters in here so that's called all in here and also 10th one is related used to follow relationships between tables so related that means it used for relationship between tables 
it returns a value from a related table based on a specified column so it works with tables you need to understand one thing guys some tax function works with tables some works with measures some works with column and some work with a specific data type so logically you need to clear with which tax function can be used at what time and it which and in which scenario so that's how in the uh, you know interview recruiter can get the expertise level of yours can understand the expertise level of yours or the command you have in a, an you know in overall understanding of a dax functions okay so these are the top basic to intermediate level of dax function which is totally interview perspective and also i want you to experiment this dax functions practically as well when your theoretical concepts you know clear so this is a part 1 of the dax function and uh, part 2 will be there soon for sure for each and every one of you until then keep practicing and keep exploring